Right, so Paulie, you've had a chance to watch the game again. Are you still impressed with our, uh, the team's effort on Friday night? Uh, yeah, I think um, loads of quality from from the team with and without the ball. And as, as ever, it's it's round one. Even even when you're in round 23, and 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 past that, you're always looking to improve. And there's some areas that that we'll look to tidy up. But yeah, but thought the boys were awesome. Just. Um, a great attitude to everything that they did and some of our, our attacking play was really clinical. Um, yes, yeah, so overall really pleased, thought it was a, an excellent effort for round one. Yeah, Lee are notoriously a very physical side, especially in the forward pack. How did you uh, game plan for that? Oh, well, we knew we'd have to ride some tough stuff. It's yeah, that's the nature of the game anyway. And obviously they've got Gareth Hock in there who's been playing really tough and Harrison Hansen, people like that, they've... Uh, yeah, they have got a physical forward pack, but I just thought we handled it well. I think um, you know we rode the tougher early period, and and our, our attacking plays um, started to really cause them trouble. Thought our middle unit were excellent in yardage and, and did a, a great job giving our half backs um, good kicking opportunities in good field position. So yeah, I just thought we, uh, from a structural point of view, we were really solid uh, with everything that that we did. Uh, conceded a couple of tries there that um, we, we'd have a look at, and, and obviously want to. Um, trim them down a bit, but a lot of teams are going to get little bits on you here and there when they're getting the ascendancy. And um, although there's things for us to work on, it was obviously really pleasing to get off to a, a win in round one. It's the first time for three years that we've done that, so uh, so that was pleasing. Yeah, is it also nice to have a virtually fully fit squad as well to pick from? Well, that's helpful in that you, um, we've got a few boys who, who were available, but we're not we're not far off. Um, you know, we're really strong. Um, Adam Milne will come into contention for the for the Warrington game, so uh, I've got a, a couple of a tough decisions to make. Um, won't make too many changes. Obviously, the, the team functioned um, you know, really well, and we've got a tough challenge next up against Warrington. But we've given ourselves a good yardstick to build from. Yeah, you mentioned the trip to Warrington as uh, the next game up. What would it mean for the team in, at this point in the season to get a win against Warrington? Well, yeah, it's just getting. Getting into the season with with two good performances, and you're always looking looking to build Warrington away. He's one of the toughest games of the season. They're they're a really good team, quality players throughout. Uh, we we'll get to get have a good look at them this this week uh, in in their uh, World Club Challenge game. Um, well, yeah, I just think we're trying to focus on ourselves really, and and, and make sure that we. We're good in everything that we do and we keep improving from week to week. If we do that, then we know we're a very tough side to play against. After Warrington, then, as next home game is against Leeds Rhinos, uh, how much do you enjoy those uh, West Yorkshire derbies and all the excitement around those games? Well, yeah, the the atmosphere is always special when you play Leeds. Uh, you know, the, the quality games we've... We've got over the top of them a little bit uh, in the last couple of years, and um, and they're looking to start the season uh, positively after after obviously getting beat by by Saints. So yeah, it'll be a tough challenge for us, but uh, again, you know, we're looking a little bit ahead here. But just us and making sure that we're we're on on point with what we're doing, and uh, we defend nice and tough against a, a really physical team with you know they've got high quality outside backs who can cause you a lot of trouble. Um, so yeah, I think the uh, you know, last next couple of games would be real big challenges for us. If we come through them, and and we pass those tests, then we're in a great position. On Friday night, we had a, a, over nine thousand fans in uh, down at the jungle. How great is it that the fans support you week in week out down here? Yeah, it's great atmosphere, and it? it's uh, you know the grounds obviously. <laughs> it needs some work. There's no doubt about that. But it's a great place to play. You know, the pitch is awesome, and uh, the atmosphere is great. We've got our, our supporters is uh, are fantastic, and really get behind the players. It was great to hear Sweet Caroline again at the end. Hopefully, we'll, we'll hear that um, throughout the season. That's the that's the target for us to to be con consistent. And if we're a consistent team, then we think we'll be a, we'll be winning uh, quite a lot of games this year, which is obviously what we're after. But